Today we're going to talk about office ergonomics. Since the start of the pandemic, many of our patients have been working from home in less than ideal office setups. They've been working from their dining room tables, they've been working from their couches, and that can lead to neck, back pain, and other repetitive strain injuries. This is what we might see when someone is sitting at a table at their home. There's no adjustment in the seat, there's no desktop with a separate keyboard or mouse, and we have a forward head, shoulder rounded posture, unsupported wrists, and poor angles of the hips and the knees. This can cause many problems that we see coming into our clinic, but what can we do? Oftentimes, there are simple solutions. Placing something under the feet can realign the angle of the hips and knees to be more appropriate, around 90 degrees. Placing a rolled up towel underneath the wrists can create a more neutral environment when an external keyboard is unavailable. Even better, getting an external keyboard and mouse can address this flexed posture of the wrist that can cause things like carpal tunnel. So in this case, you can elevate the laptop slightly for better viewing and neck posture, and the external keyboard and mouse can prevent that flexed wrist posture. Another cool trick to address that forward flexed posture is to provide some feedback behind the patient's scapula. Have them reach toward that object with retraction many times throughout the day to work on their posture. Additionally, there need to be frequent rest breaks scheduled throughout the workday to prevent stiffness and pain. This exercise ball is often found in many of our patients' homes and can be used for this great stretch to address back, hip, neck, all kinds of pain associated with prolonged computer use. Another common complaint is shoulder and neck pain. This next stretch is really fabulous for addressing that and can be adjusted to be more intense or less intense based on that internal rotation of the hand behind the back. So this is the more intense way to stretch, and this can be done bilaterally. To modify it slightly, you can simply let go of that internally rotated arm and let it hang by the side and just focus on the gentle neck stretch. I hope these tips can help you and your patients in combating the problems that come with the work from home environment since the start of the pandemic. Thanks for tuning in.